In this lesson, we'll continue our review of PSAT Reading Test 2, Section 1. We're still on the first passage, Brewster, a novel. And if you watched the previous video, and hopefully you've read this, this is about a group of young boys preparing for a time trial. The narrator, Mosier, is inexperienced like a few others. The coach warns him not to exert himself, but he doesn't listen, and he pushes himself, but ends up really struggling, passing out and throwing up, and the coach then says, I told you, you should have listened to me. So we are on question number five. All right, and so let's take a look. Based on the passage, how did the experienced runners respond to Falvo's advice? And so we know that Falvo was a coach. He gave advice to the group and also specifically to Mosier. He warned Mosier twice not to overdo it. But the advice he gave to the group, all right, so let's take a look. That is in the beginning, obviously before the race started. When it's around 14, Falvo says, all right, I want you to stay contained, stay smooth. I don't want to, you to see anyone draining the well. And that means you, McCann. And then he reinforces the advice to Mosier, the warning. There's no verbal response here. And so this is a little bit more implicit. So we're looking for evidence how the experienced runners responded. So if they didn't say anything, we have to look at their actions. And so let's take a look at the experienced runners. We're looking for evidence of their actions, specifically how they ran the race. And so once the race started, let's take a look. All right. And so here we have this, there was no starting gun. Runners, marks, go. They didn't run, they flowed. Quiet, aggressive, sustained power. They were smooth as water. And so here, these are the runners ahead of them, the more experienced runners. So we don't have any verbal reaction to the response, but we have their actions quiet and aggressive, sustained power, smooth as water. So they're not exerting themselves, right? They are generally following the coach's advice. Enthusiastically embrace it. Again, this is too extreme. We don't have evidence of that. And just in general, avoid extreme choices. They're usually just red herrings. They acted like they hadn't heard it. We don't have any evidence of that they generally accepted it, right? Because they were smooth with sustained controlled power. They only pretended to take it seriously. It's definitely C here. And so it's a little bit of an inference question. If they don't have a verbal response, watch the actions. All right, let's take a look at six. And we see, we always wanna scan at the next question, six and seven, it is a two part question. And so we're looking for evidence. What does the narrator say about his motivation for performing as he did in the time trial. So this is Mosier, the narrator. What is his motivation for performing as he did? And we know he, he didn't listen to the coach, he exerted himself. So we're looking for some evidence of an explanation why he did this. And so we know it's between 36 and 94. Again, this is probably gonna be after the race started. And so we can, let's see, 36, we've got 61 and 73. So it's probably gonna be after the race started. So let's see, this is right when it started. They flowed, the kid in the headband. This is the quiet, aggressive power. We read this early. These are the more experienced runners ahead of them. By the end of the second lap, I heard someone far yelling away, stop Mosier, that's enough. I remember staggering after them, gasping, drowning my chest, my legs, filling with lead and, and looking up through a fog. So there's still no evidence. But then if we see right here, the beginning of this paragraph, I don't know why I can't explain it. By the end of the third lap, I was barely, barely moving, clawing at the air, oblivious to everything except the dirt unfolding endlessly in front of me. Here's the evidence. He doesn't know. He can't explain it. And so you just have to find those clues. And it is B, right? He couldn't explain it. And then to confirm that, question number six, Definitely, he was unable to provide a reason for his behavior. These really definitely fit together. All right, let's take a look at question eight. Based on the passage, when Falvo says, don't drain the well in 83, he probably means what? You know, we don't, I don't think you have to refer back. You see, after answering a few of these questions, you get a better idea. When he says, don't drain the well, we know this was the advice he gave to the group, but also to Mosier specifically. It's don't drain your energy. Don't use up all your energy. It's not don't get sick, right? Don't drain the well means just just like leave something in the tank. Don't try to undo one another. 
Again, you know, there, this might be sort of indirectly implied, but specifically what it means is don't use up your energy. Don't quit before you're finished. Definitely not true. So A to A. And the last question, this is a word in context. What does vindicate mean? Just a general suggestion, a strategy for these words in context. If it's an easy word, it's usually the secondary word, meaning of the word. But if it's a harder word, it's usually just testing the definition. And so let's see what vindicated means. We're going to look in line 89. This is at the end of the, the very end of the passage. And so remember, this is after Mosier, he was sick. And then Falvo came up to him and he said, what did I get? I couldn't seem to hold my head up or open my eyes. This is Mosier speaking. The pain kept coming. What time? What time did I get? And so even though Mosier got sick, you know, he's still asking what time. And then he laughed, that bitter Falvo laugh. Ha! like he'd been vindicated. And so vindicate, you know, if you know what this word means, it, it definitely helps. You know, I'm, I'm not going to um, deny that, but you can almost kind of gauge it by the context here. He warned him. He warned him twice. Mosier didn't listen. He got sick. And then he came up to him and says, what's my time? And then Falvo almost sort of laugh. He did laugh at him like he'd been vindicated. So vindicate, let's take a look at the choices and avenged. All right, so avenged, there has to be evidence that he was seeking revenge. That's not it. Now, vindicate, one of the definitions of vindicate, like you hear this in a criminal trial, the defendant was vindicated. It means to set free or, or exonerate, but that's not what we're talking about here. He's not set free, defended against, it's proven right. And that's what vindicate means. That, besides being set free, one of the, 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 primary definitions is to be proven right. He felt vindicated his claim, his warning had proven true. And the answer is D.